G'day Leo, welcome back to TJ Terra Down Under. Going to do the love energy coming towards you as at now. Let's go. Give me three cards for the love energy coming towards Leo, please. And it is the current energy and the strongest energy. So, it's a general reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, you can check out your other placements. Or you can check out my playlist and see if something resonates for you there. Because, yeah, this is just the strongest one that's coming through at this moment. Oh, first card on the floor for the old readings so far. Oh. Very first one. Still in... Oh, moved it a bit. There we go. Sorry about that. Okay. Clarify card one, please. Cross watches. This could be your energy. If not, it will be somebody else's. So please do keep that in mind. You may not be the only one interested in Leo. Clarify card two, please. All the decks are pre-shuffled and are listed below in the description box in the order that I'm using them in case you are interested in what these decks are. Okay, let's keep going. I know it takes a while to get these out. Three more for the love energy coming towards Leo, please. Oh, it's being quick now. That's good. Okay. I like to get all the cards out first, and I like to get them all out on screen. Clarify card one in row two, please. Because I don't want... Yeah. I like to get them all out on screen, because I don't like it when... Ooh. Okay, I, and they said you saw it last, it goes last. Okay. So I don't like it when the cards are already out, I don't... Yeah. Clarify card two in row two, please. So I'm sorry if it takes a while, but... Ooh. Okay. And clarify card three in row two, please. And I hope you're all having a good week, good weekend, good day. And are remembering to spoil yourself. Because <laughs> you deserve it. All right, get those cards in the right spot. Oh, nope, that last deck stays till the end. All right, let's begin, Leo. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So someone's trying to call you in, they see you as their soulmate, they're praying and saying affirmations, visualizing being with you. Okay, Leo. Oh, we've got the Page of Cups, the Star card, and the World card. Oh, I think someone's trying to call you in because they want to apologise and heal things and close out that old cycle between you two. Yeah. Yeah, someone wants to call you in to apologise. Yeah, heal the situation and close out the old cycle. Okay. And then what? <laughs> well, find out. <laughs> oh, unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Okay, so maybe they're just wanting to close out the old cycle. I see he was a soulmate. But perhaps they think you're not interested in anything more anymore. The hangman and the sun. Wow, we've got four major arcana in a row here. Star, world, hangman, sun. <clears throat> yeah, because they think that you're not interested, they're hanging back from this. Because you're the happiness. In astrology, that's your card. The sun. Well, you're ruled by the sun. Um, but in tarot, it's just 
the sun is the sun because there's planets and the signs. Getting a different perspective and seeing things clearly that this is unrequited that yeah you don't want this to go well maybe they don't want this to go any further and they're trying to look at things from a different perspective so they can make that clear. Okay, and what have we got here? This could be the one. No, I think they think you aren't interested. This could be the one you've already met, the romantic partner you seek. Ooh, seven of pentacles. Well, and the eight of swords. So, I think they know that it's going to be unrequited. Um, sorry, an itchy arm. And I think they thought that you were going to be the one. They invested so much into this connection, thinking that you were the one. And now they're sort of stuck in that energy. They feel a bit trapped by that because they did invest so much into this you being the one. But it didn't turn out to be that way. Um, definitely wanting to bring an end to the cycle. It's major as well. It's not just a ending. Yeah, I keep getting the held back because they can see very clearly that this is unrequited. Okay, let's keep going. Find out what the go is here. Action. You have the courage to express the unique loving colours of your soul. Let's see what action they're going to take here. There's that sun again. I'll make things very clearly. Oh, okay, the death card that this is over. There's an ending. Two of pentacles. Four of Pentacles. Okay. Ten of Wands. Yeah, okay. And the Seven of Cups. Okay, so they... They want to take some sort of action so that it's very clear that this is over. Because they're still juggling with this and holding on to this when it's just burdening them. It's too much, it's becoming too heavy when that because they know it's just an illusion that there's anything here. But they keep maybe oh no there's not, but maybe there is and and that's keeping them holding on to this. And it's too much of a a burden for them them to carry here because they know it is an illusion. I, that's all I get with this is it. They know it's a, an illusion, so that's why they want to take action to to make it very to have it very clearly shown to them that this is over. Okay. With that ending. Okay. Ugh. Ownership. You acknowledge your misdeeds and accomplishments alike and learn to love them all as lessons. Yeah, I think, yeah. So we've got the Three of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Six of Wands. So take, yeah... Taking ownership of themselves, well, for themselves, that they wait, they've been waiting for this to become long-term stable and successful. They're the ones that have been waiting for that. And they're taking ownership of that, that you haven't been waiting for that. They, they were waiting for that. Things to turn around and to become that. But it wasn't going to happen. Individuality. You leave your unique stamp of love on everything you do. 
and the Seven of Pentacles. So I think what they want to do is finally invest in themselves, the individuality of themselves, the individual, which is one, which is self. Yeah, they want to be able to invest in themselves. Yeah. Because I feel they're still stuck in, in in their mind about investing in you because you could be the one. But it needs to be made very clear that... And the closing out this cycle. Because I think they know that there's that it's an illusion. Nothing's going to happen. It's, it is over. But they just can't. I think it's become a bit of a habit for them to be investing in you and thinking, yes, you are the one. Look, I blamed you, but it was me, see? I think you know that this has been over, but I don't think they've been able to let go of it. So they may just need to... talk to you just to apologise for whatever they want to apologise for just make peace with the situation and then they can let it go I know it might not mean much to you because you, you've let I think you've let it go and you've moved on or you're but there's someone that still just needs those final words just to release you and look they're coming up in the reading so this is blocking other energy from coming into you because they're still attached to you so give this person um a little bit of your time to just close out the cycle and that will open the door for you to something new and release them from being attached to you so, yeah. All right. What does this energy want to say to Leo? Okay, we got it all. So we have... I can't right now. Um, they're calling you in, but I don't know if they're... Yeah, well... I think maybe they're going to take the action here. So um, they know they need to do this for them, their own self. And look, it's going to benefit you as well. They will do it soon. But not right now. And you don't expect a phone call right now or anything like that right now. Might take them a, a few days to prepare um yeah i don't know how long it's going to take um i don't really deal with the future i deal with the present so right now they're not ready okay i love holding you yeah i mean they still care for you very much don't think that they don't because they do but yeah but you know they need to if it's if it's you have no intention of returning to this person, then, yeah, it's you need to make let them go, and for them to be able to let you go. So they're, they're still holding on to you. I regret letting you go. Yeah. Regretfully, they know they have to let you go. Because it's not healthy for them. And like I said, it's blocking you. And I'm waiting for an apology. They're waiting to apologise. They don't... You don't need to apologise. Um, well, if there's something you feel you need to, then that's fine. But I don't think they're looking for that. 
Like, they're not coming to you going, right, you have to apologise to me. No, it's nothing like that. They just want to express some of their emotions, heal anything between you two, get clear the air and close out the cycle. So they can move on. Because I feel that you already have, but like I said, it's, yeah. So please do give them the time, if when they do come in, um, to just close that out. Because like I said, they're in your reading. If they weren't still attached to you, um, there'd be some other energy here on the table. So just be aware that, yeah, this is the strongest because this is what's blocking anything else coming in right now, if, if that's your situation. So somebody needs to give an ex the time of day. Um, yes, give them a little bit of time to, and just clear the air, peacefully, calmly, you know, don't have to abuse them, you don't have to tell them where to go, or anything like that, be mature about it, and not saying that you wouldn't, but, you know, I can feel some of you's going, oh, that past person can go jump, and mm, give them the... Well, guess what? They're still holding on to you when they're blocking your readings. So, you know. And if you're getting that fired up about someone from the past, you still have emotional attachment to them. Okay? Sorry, but it's true. Because <laughs> if you didn't care, you wouldn't care. Um, you wouldn't be, yeah. So. Hmm. All right, sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that, but yeah, there's a, yeah. Um, like I said, could have had somebody else on the table if this was cleared up and closed out. So best close it out, Leo. All right. Okay. Well, that's your reading. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Leave a nice comment. That would be awesome. And thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All the best. Take care. Good luck. And I'll catch you later.